Welcome to our second video for our worship on Sunday the 2nd of August 2020. Uh, in this video we're going to hear a Bible reading uh, and then Linda's going to speak to us about it uh, and then I'd just like to mention some craft activity uh, that we're going to have. The reading is from Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41. Jesus calms the storm. On the evening of that same day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they left the crowd. The disciples got into the boat in which Jesus was already sitting, and they took him with them. Other boats were there too. Suddenly a strong wind blew up and the waves began to spill over into the boat, so that it was about to fill up with water. Jesus was in the back of the boat, sleeping with his head on a pillow. The disciples woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? Jesus stood up and commanded the wind, Be quiet. And he said to the waves, Be still. The wind died down and there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you frightened? Have you still no faith? But they were terribly afraid, and said to one another, Who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before Linda speaks to us, here's a song which is partly inspired uh, by that reading. Do not be afraid, says God, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Uh, God's expression that we are valuable, despite the fact that the water might rise and threaten to overwhelm us. So let's hear Linda on the subject of our reading today. 
Good morning. This Sunday, we're having another break from Paul's letter to the Romans and thinking about the miracle of Jesus stilling the storm as recorded in Mark's Gospel. Many scholars believe that Mark, who wrote his Gospel first, was influenced by Simon Peter, one of Jesus' first disciples. It's believed to have been written just before or slightly after Peter's death, as Mark wanted to write down all the things that Peter had remembered about Jesus before these stories were forgotten. On this occasion, Jesus had been teaching near the Sea of Galilee and needed a rest from the crowds. So his disciples were sailing their boat over the sea to the opposite shore where there were no large towns and therefore less people. Mark reports, not long after they set sail, Jesus fell asleep and a storm rose up. There are two important points, I think, here that shows just how human Jesus was. He had the same basic needs we all have. He needed rest and could become exhausted. Just the same way as we need rest before we become exhausted. Although Mark doesn't say which disciples were with Jesus in the boat, there most likely would have been four who were seasoned fishermen. Peter, Andrew, John and James. These four would have been quite familiar with the sea. And it's certain that this wouldn't have been the first storm that they'd been through. The Sea of Galilee, Galilee was well known for its sudden raging storms. For these fishermen, to fear that they were going to drown must mean that this particular storm was really bad. But Jesus was fast asleep in the stern of the boat with his head on a cushion. It's interesting to note that it's only in Mark's Gospel that we hear that the disciples, well, they're a bit abrupt with Jesus saying, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? They must, though, have believed that Jesus would do something, and of course he does. He rebukes the wind and he rebukes the waves, simply saying, quiet, be still. You know, the disciples remain terrified, this time not terrified of the storm, but terrified at the enormity of what Jesus had done. You can almost imagine them with mouths wide open, astonished that a few words from Jesus stopped the storm in its tracks. And then Jesus' only comment was, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? You know, this comment could easily be directed at us as we can spend a lot of time worrying even about trivial things. And I'm sure all of you can experience times when you've laid in bed at night time, tossing and turning, thinking about something that might go wrong and then finding out that it never actually happened. The disciples' lack of faith reminds us that even those of them who lived, walked and talked with Jesus, saw his miracles, heard his message, still found it difficult to be 100% faith-filled all the time. In that way, well, we're a lot like those disciples. Jesus rebuked the disciples for their lack of faith. So maybe Jesus might be asking us, when are you going to get some real faith? Just think for a moment, if Jesus was able to calm the storm, he must also be able to calm the storms in our lives, such as sickness, job loss, marriage problems, and even death. As I said earlier, this passage shows us Jesus' true humanity, but it also shows us Jesus' deity because only God could make a storm stop so suddenly and completely. This shows that Jesus 
is the perfect revelation of God. With one quick word from Jesus, the storm subsided and the sea, start, the sea became calm. This powerful display of Jesus' supernatural ability over the elements can be immensely comforting to us through our storms of life. Faith in Jesus Christ is never misplaced. If Jesus can calm the storms of the sea with one word, he can calm the storms of our lives as well. I'll finish with some words by the writer Eddie Askew, which seem to sum up all that I've just been saying. Lord, you are the still centre of every storm. In you is calm, whatever the wind outside. In you is reassurance, however high the waves. In you is strength, however strong the tide. Let's pray. Dear Lord, the sea of life is vast and we often fear because we don't know the way. Help us to trust the navigation to you and meet the unknown with a stronger faith, knowing that in spite of the storm's strength, all shall be well. Amen. The next two videos uh, in this series uh, are little craft activities, uh, one of a model boat uh, that we can make to remind us of the story, and one of a card that we can make uh, to send to others uh, who might be in distress. Here's a little piece of uh, craft that we can make out of cardboard and a margarine container. Uh, Jesus standing in the boat saying, peace be still, and a flat calm falling uh, where previously there had been a violent storm uh, raging and making the disciples very, very worried. Here's a card that we can make together. Uh, it's uh, a prayer that Jesus would be with us uh, when life gets tough uh, in the storms of your life. I pray that Jesus will give you his peace. Uh, if you want to follow them, please follow on at the end of this video to where they are. Uh, if you don't want to do them and you want to go straight on to part three of the video, uh, then it's also possible to do that uh, by clicking through or else by trying to find it independently uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, whichever you choose, I'll see you there in a little while.